Okay, I'd like to show you the insides of this hard drive. This is a server hard drive. Uh, it's not big, it's 72 gigabytes. Uh, it's from an older server. But uh, I'm sure not too many people have seen what's inside of the real, real hard drives. Let me bring a uh, So this would be uh, something like a desktop hard drive where you have, this one was I believe 500 gigabytes. Uh, you have the platters, you have the head moving over them, you should have electronics on the back of it. And uh, that's basically what a regular household hard drive is. Well, this one is slightly different. This is a hard drive that's used in servers. And uh, first of all, it's much heavier. Second of all, you can't really use it in a household because it's got the SCSI interface. Um, actually, some of them do have uh, eSATA, uh, SATA, and um, there is another um, connector. I just it, it uh, escapes my mind, but it doesn't matter. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to use a T8 drive uh, a drill and we're just going to go around taking it before we actually take the top off let's take the bottom off um, server hard drives are built for speed for reliability so they are different the electronics on the board is different. Um, one of the things that you notice right away is the components are a lot more massive. And connection to the actual motor is different. Uh, on uh, home hard drives you have these uh, you know the kind of fingers that lay on top well they don't play any games here they want a perfect connection so they use pins so here's the electronics now let's continue taking the top off these hard drives rarely fail uh, they are a lot more expensive and uh, Gonna feel another screw here. Maybe another one. No. Okay. And uh, a big screwdriver to pop the hood. And here is. Okay. Oh. Seal. Oh, sorry. There's another one right here. I knew there was two. All right. Still is a job to take it out. So here you go. Wow. Would you look at that? This hard drive is actually a small laptop hard drive built in an extremely massive casing. with a lot more um, air passage regulation. The heads are a lot more heavy dutier. Um, the magnets are much bigger. So comparing that to this, you can actually see that this one is, um, maybe I should put it on scale. Get a scale here. Okay. So all things being equal, the top and the bottom are off. So there's a scale. Set it to zero somehow. Oh, there it is. All right. This one, the home hard drive, is about a pound.
This one is over a pound. It's not as noticeable on the scale, but it's about a pound and a half actually. So, but given this is only uh, 80 gigabytes and this is 500 gigabytes, so you can actually see the major difference in professional server hard drives and home hard drives. So hopefully this helps somebody understand some things. Um, this is not about data recovery, but uh, this is what this is what you buy when you get a professional server equipment. This is very expensive. But the principles are exactly the same.